Yo, what up? Alright, uh, good day. Hello, my name is Arnold Vinyaz and I'm a Mappy teacher. Hello, my name is Arnold Vinyaz and uh, I'm a Mappy teacher, just like you are. <laughs> my name is Arnold Vinyaz and I am a Mappy teacher. Right. Hi class. Mm -hmm. So, what is this all about uh, today? Going to discuss on the run through of the modules that you have right now, which is uh, some mapping, no? uh, with my my students in in you uh, know in different sections. So, namely, uh, Mungkopa, Greater Mungkopa. Uh, Montesino, Tabanao, who else? Uh, um, Lombard, um, Cabristante, and Sir Ma Mom. I forget the name. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I'm very tired. I'll try next time. So, guys, uh, this is just an overview of the module that you have right now which is our module for uh, the music uh, arts PE and you know and, and health uh, this uh, what do you call this one this module that we have that we're going to discuss right now is about the music right the quarter one module 1b the title of your music module is 20th century musical styles electronic and chance and music so a little bit of overview and discuss and of course so that you'll have the idea of how good to answer your uh, summative or your you, you, you it will help you a lot in uh, learning uh, you, you know it's just an what do you call it an, uh, a supplement for your discussion there in your you know, in your respective houses okay my name is uh, Arnold Munez and I'm your MAPI teacher so let's start all right so this is your your uh, module right music quarter one module 1b it's what you have right now and the title is of course Century Musical Styles, Electronic and Chance Music. Mm -hmm. Then here you will have the blah 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 and blah blah blah. All the protocols of the module right here. Of course the Republic Act 8293 section 176 and you can read that one yourselves. Yourselves. And you have here uh, different underwriters, the editors, the illustrator of this particular module. I don't have to discuss about it, right? So what I need to know. So it says here, hello, good day. Welcome to the world of music. In this module, you will learn about new inventions and discoveries of science and technology that lead to the continuing it's supposed to be led, right? If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Continuing developments in the field of music. These devices are used to creating or uh, for creating and recording music. Uh, take note of the recording. To add to or to replace writing skills by uh, making examples of music from. What is that? No, no. Uh, to add to or to replace acoustical sounds. Acoustical sounds. You will also learn to create, to create, compose, and develop your writing skills by making examples of music from the 28th century, which you belong right now, or where the 21st century, 28th century, long gone. 
my friend, such as uh, Impressionism to Modern Nationalism. Uh, you will evaluate your learning in, on your journey towards 20th century music. So it says here, are you ready? Mm, of course, your learning competencies, it says here, and blah, 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 and blah, blah. You don't, I don't have to discuss about it. Mm, it says here at the end of the day, you are expected to identify the different compositions of the 20th century music, electronic and chance music. So take note of the electronic and take note of the chance. Because uh, these are your topics that will be mm, lightly discussed. <laughs> Okay, show your appreciation by creating example or sample electronic, electronic chance music using items of your choice. And it says here you create a poem of your understanding of the lesson. Why not create a song? Me, myself, I don't understand why <laughs> that's the thing. A poem, you have to write a poem? You just have to write the, uh, the song, right? Or write a song. So that would be. A little bit of but anyway yeah you just have to follow it because it says there uh, so you have to uh, next to that you have to assess yourself this is a pre-assessment pre where you be asked different questions there's no need to worry about this because it's a pre-assessment so you have to answer this one uh, there in your notebooks, it refers to a blah 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 blah. It's easier and all. So you just have to answer it. You don't have to worry about right or wrong, being right or being wrong. So here is your uh, topic, which is uh, the musical style that evolved in the modern era were very different. When we say very different, right? So these are the musical style evolved when we, when we talk about evolved it evolved because it came from nothing or from on from zero to something so the evolution from your being one uh, uh, monkey looking <laughs> monkey looking <laughs> and uh, yeah and in you know, i don't know sure Alright, so the musical style, how it is, uh, some of these uh, were short-lived, uh, being experimental and too radical in nature, while others found an active, active blend between the old and the new, so it bridges the gap from the new, uh, from the old music styles to the new one, so this, uh, the, these uh, equipment and tools, tools, uh, somehow became the bridge of that musical gap no so you will see different musical uh, tools may may mp3 players may ipad me uh me early synthesizers all right these are used for electronic music so when we talk about being uh, some according to this uh, lesson some actually were short lived only meaning namatay da yun ng inyo ano nawala oh yeah it never pushed through uh, that we can actually see those uh, changes right now wala na no so during the evolution of that music uh, nawala sila because of uh, the reason that uh, some were being experimental lang in nature and too radical well others found an active though so these are the things so if you want to see more of these uh, instruments you can see it here let's try to look at this one all right here mm -hmm. because now we can mm, this one what I have right now is a MIDI controller, which you don't have it right, right there, because according to your to your module, those are synthesizers, which I actually uh, agree. Those are synthesizers and MP3s and uh, what are those? Uh, MP3 players, iPad. iPad. But this one is uh, 
actually a, a MIDI controller and MIDI being uh, f it's, it's an acronym for musical interface musical instrument digital interface monate and some MIDI so this is a MIDI and a Akai MP keep me so I use this one for music production so I don't have to use uh, acoustics or acoustic instrument or normal instruments no like if I'm going to use a guitar oh no I'm going to use a piano I can play it here if I'm going to use if I want to make a sound a bass sound an uh, acoustic bass or uh, an electric bass I can use it here I, if I want to create a drum line I can use this one because this is too powerful already yeah it's too little too small but it cast a giant shadow guys yeah cast a giant because it's too powerful I, I already made uh, tons of music from this uh, no from this uh, MIDI controller this is not a synthesizer but it works exactly like what you have there in your picture okay this one this one right here uh -huh. mm. all right so new inventions and discoveries of science and technology have led to continuing development in the field of music electronic devices such as the early cassette tape recorders cassette tape recorders like this mm. if you want to see a cassette this, <laughs> these are the things that we used <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I was younger or during my time I don't know if you were able to to uh, come across this kind of uh, Jurassic uh, uh, equipment and tool a musical tool and musical uh, gadgets uh, so you will see that in your screen the, the a cassette tape recorder or a cartridge where uh, currently we're not using we're not using it now I'm not, we, we we're not even using CDs already, right? We use uh, USB, digital digital music, not a digital transfer or something like that. But before, it, it's all analog, it's all uh, manual or something. And those are the type of music uh, uh, instrument or gadgets or tool that we have way back then. All right, and. Uh, as I've said, it says there tape recorders, players of compact players, the CDs compact players, video compact players, VCDs. You don't have it. You don't have it already. And these are video disc or DVDs. Now we already have MP3 and MP4, MP4 players, the iPad, karaoke players, mobile recording music. You of course, if you're going to uh, record. Uh, using mobile device you can actually do that yeah oh it's like this one okay if you want to record your song or something you know, it's for you not, uh, not necessarily professional level but you can use this one you yeah, just have to find the recorder of your phone and use this as your recorder that easy at the same time this will uh, serve as your iPad or mp3 players because it plays mp3 and it plays video mp4 how lucky are you how lucky are you? you are all lucky already because you have this kind of gadgets that we don't have when, during our time during our time we have to record our me as a, a songwriter as a songwriter and as a, as a music producer we have to use this kind of tools and equipment before <laughs> this one <laughs> uh, all right uh, i want to yeah you were using this kind of you know, musical gadget or instrument before tape recorders and all you will see the one i'm, I'm pointing it right now these are cds these are recorders. It is a cartridge. So you see, these are the <laughs> funny, right? <laughs> I have this. I have a gadget exactly like this. Uh, way back. 
Uh, so I have to record. I have to record it. I know. Sapau sapau. But now you don't have to do that because you have. I'm recording by trucks and then I'm using digital uh, recording for that purpose. All right. So there. And uh, karaoke players, mobile phone, Android phones, I've said, and synthesizers have been increasingly used for creating recording music that it that is meant to be added to or to replace acoustical sound made with traditional instruments. So as I've told you a while ago, me here, the Akwang is because I'm here at my studio. I'm no longer using, although I have. Uh, traditional instruments no I have traditional instruments but right now I'm using this and uh, when I have bigger than this I want to show you how I do my view uh, no. I, I, I'm not showing you anything okay I'm not showing you my 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 skills in writing songs or in producing songs so I have a bigger bigger gigantic better <laughs> equipment in uh, producing musical instruments this one is also a, a midi player the same with the one that i've shown you a couple of minutes ago but this one is a little bit bigger yeah but the the the, the result is awesome because the sound is awesome because it's it's like the traditional it's it sounds it, it 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 sounds like a traditional instrument even better yeah so yeah what happened what happened right. so again this is a small because it doesn't say anything uh, because your module is already outdated <laughs> it doesn't talk about MIDI controllers oh. we don't use synthesizers anymore unless we are we are playing live meaning we are playing on stage and live music so playing live music we use synthesizers but during our recording and creating music we use uh, MIDI or musical instrument digital interface. Yeah. So let's go on, go on. And there, new musical styles, electronic music, the capacity, it says electronic music, the capacity of electronic machines such as synthesizers, amplifiers, tape recorders, and loudspeakers to create different sound was put to creative use by the 20th century composers like Edgar Barberese, Kar Karhins, Stockhausen, and Mario Davids Davidovsky. All right, so hard to pronounce. Music that uses uh, music that uses tape recorders is also called music concrete. Music concrete. All right, or concrete music. The composers record different sounds that are he heard, 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 <laughs> that, are, that are heard in the environment, such as the sound of traffic, the sound of the wind, barking dogs, the strumming of a guitar, uh, or the cry of an infant. These sounds are arranged by the composers in a different way by playing tape recorders in its fastest or in reverse mode. In music, in music concrete, in music concrete, <laughs> the composer is able to experiment with different sound that cannot be produced by a regular musical instrument such as piano or the violin. True. That is very true. We cannot do that using only mm, what do you call this one? Uh, using a piano a piano cannot sound like a bass or a piano cannot sound like a bark of the dog or anything like that so 
as I've said, because it's 20th century, and if I, I think if it's 21st century, we'll be talking about this one already, because this is already the standard uh, industry standard of musical production. This kind of instrument that I'm holding right now. Again, this is not a synthesizer. This is a MIDI. Uh, this is for the 21st century, I guess. Because uh, your 20th, 28th century doesn't talk and mention about using MIDI. So, so here you, there are people who were introduced, uh, musicians, uh, uh, was the, the, the pioneers of these styles, like uh, Edgar Varese, Karl Hans, Stockhausen, and Mario Davidovsky. So music that uses tape recorders is also called the music concrete. They say they already, they already talk about it. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Can be producer. Yeah. So here we go. So you have it there in your in your copy. Yeah. Let's try to get back to your copy. Yeah. Yeah. Edgar Varese, Edgar Varese. So he lived from 19, 1883 to 1965. So definitely there was there was no musical interface or oh, instrument digital, <laughs> digital interface yet. Yeah. So there you will have the, a little history of Edgar. Uh, however, he spent the greater part of his life career in the United States, where he pioneered and created new sounds that bordered between music and noise. Yeah, because most of the time if you're going to be asked what what uh, what is noise and what is music. Now if you don't usually ay musilingan mo answer of magsikag sagito magsikag rap they will not consider it as music because it will be you know for them it's just a noise. And uh, some people will say, uh, or the, the hip hoppers, or the people who are into hip hop, will say it's music. So, maka diperensya na, diba? So, we have to have uh, a common definition of what music and what noise is. So, Edgar Varese, or Varese, you can pronounce any, 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 you want, any, any pronunciation you want. All right. <laughs> So uh, he created the the border between music and noise. So if it is a noise, if it is music, he created that wall, that border. Uh, how he did that, we'll talk about it in the near future. The musical compositions of Varese or Barisi are characterized by an emphasis on timbre and rhythm. So what is timbre, oh, and what is rhythm? So you have to uh, Google it, Google it, people, Google it, just Google it. Uh, uh. So, timber, of course, it is how uh, it's a, I, it, the best example that I can give you is if how you sing, you know. People are gifted, there are people, lots of people actually gifted with very nice voice. Some, some, most of the time, uh, uh, beautiful voice cannot be taught. Okay, meaning, hindi na ituturo ang magandang boses. All right, in in our vernacular, dili pwede itudlo ang nindut or chada ng atingog sa tao because of your timber, timbre. Okay. Mm, you, you might be very good at at anything. Or you, you may sound good. I mean, you may hit the note, meaning dili ka yebag, but dili pug ka nindut paminawon, meaning hindi ka hindi maganda pagingan yung bosses mo, maski hindi ka sintonado, because of your timbre of your voice. Okay. And of course, the reins of the vo of your voice cannot also be taught. Maybe a little gamay lang kayong improvement, but cannot be. 
because they're just people gifted with vocal cords that are so fit for uh, high notes and low registers and high registers okay so uh, it was the emphasis of guard for the timbre and the rhythm okay you know what rhythm is right uh, rhythm the beat and the tempo parts of rhythm and all so he invented the term organized sound which means that certain timbres and rhythms can be grouped together in order to capture a whole new definition of sound Varis or Varise use a new technology and electronic resources earned him the title Father of Electronic Music. He died in November 6 of 1965. What? We were just talking about him and he just died right away. <laughs> so he is uh, the father considered to be the father of electronic music. So let's try to look at the the graphical representation of how he create music. So see, it's not nodes, right? It's just waves. Those are waves representation of the music that forms a rhythm. So hard to understand. I think he is the only person who can understand what he was doing. Uh, because it's a musical score it it is not a musical so score these are just represent the visual representation of the things that he was doing hmm. the electronic music he, he called it poem electronic hmm. and of course we have Karl Hans Stockhausen Karl Hans Stockhausen Ruby so where's my music Oh, I lost my music. I lost my music. Mm. Yeah, See, that kind of music within your mind. My create using that instrument that you have. So, Carl Hinz Stockhausen, born in 1928. Carl Hinz Stockhausen is a central figure in the realm of electronic music. Born in Cologne, Germany, he had the opportunity to meet Oliver Messiah. Arnold Schoenberg. See, I have a name. My name is really... <laughs> uh, 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 what do you call this one? A cornerstone for music. Arnold Schoenberg and Anton Wibern. Wibem. Wibern, Wibem. The principal innovators of the time together with Pierre... Bully. Bullies. Stockhausen drew, drew inspirational from these composers as he developed his style a total real surrealism. Total surrealism. Stockhausen's music was initially met with resistance due to, the, to its heavy atonal content with practically no clear melodic or rhythm sense. So more shag your bug a tone now okay heavy a tone up with heavy because your bug okay more shag wula it's like it doesn't make sense at all so with no no clear melodic or rhythmic sense still he continued to experiment with music concrete mm. he continued to he was met with resistance meaning there are there were uh, lots of expert musical uh, music experts the experts that uh, will any agrees so yeah all right but he continued eventually and look at the represent the visual representation of his uh, music it's it's not uh, it's not waves it's not uh, midi graphics or something uh, of course midi graphics came from that I don't know, Oh, from that uh, <laughs> what do you call it an origin and in my waves you can have uh, the the high and the uh, no uh, the, the high and the low registers of the tone and this box maybe represents the different sound and uh, and different uh, what do you call distances value 
So it's it's not a musical score in any possible way. All right, it's just the graphical representation of this music. That was Corhen Stockhausen. And now we we have this chance music from the word chance, meaning it's not planned. You know what I mean? Not planned. It's just uh, a random occurrence of musical notes and musical uh, audios or sound waves and all. Okay, we call it chance music. So chance music refers to a style in which the piece sound different at every performance because of the random technique. See, talking about random meaning not regular techniques of production, including the use of ring modulators or natural elements that become a part of the music. Most of the cars rustingly, most of the car. Most of the sounds emanate from the surroundings, both natural and man-made. So natural, if you talk about natural, meaning the sound of the bird, the chirping of the bird, the sound of the waves, the clap or the cry of baby, or the bark of dog bark, dog bark, barking of the dog, <laughs> and all. And such as the honking combination leaves a dripping water or ringing tone. Such as the combination of external sound cannot be duplicated as each happens by chance. See? Chance. An example of John Skate's 4 minute and 33 seconds where the pianist merely opens the piano lead and keeps silent for the duration of the piece. Yeah, I... 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 I actually remember the, this this you know, this history john cage where young as john kids uh, he played in 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 a uh, with the crowd you know in front of the crowd he played uh four minutes and 30 seconds he only opened the piano never played a note he only s sat there for four minutes and 30 seconds and never played anything never touches the key of the piano and never even whisper okay and after that four minutes and 30 seconds of silence he went up and you know took a bow took a bow yeah and it was his music his music was the the murmuring of the crowd the the enthusiasm of the crowd the the whisper of the wind the ticking of the chairs and the foot or something so in ana chaka mantas nga musikero then amidst the seeming silence see amidst the seeming silence the audience hears a variety of noise inside and outside the concert hall who was the notable 20th century composer that created chance music all right and that is john cage now i think it is the last last one so bear with me so john cage was known of this was known as the uh what do you call it that? No but not, not a music i don't know so he was known as one of the 20th century composers with the widest array of sounds in his works he was born in los angeles california usa on september 5 1912 and became one of the most original composers in the history of western music he challenged the very idea of music by manipulating musical instruments in order to achieve to achieve new sounds he experimented with what came to be known as chance music so she had a father of chance music okay kids created a prepared piano where screws and 
pieces of wood or paper were inserted between the piano strings to produce different percussive possibilities. He became famous for his composition of 4 minutes and 30 seconds, uh, the one that I've told you a, a, couple of, uh, a, couple of bar, a couple of minutes ago, a chance musical work that instructed the pianist to merely open the piano, piano lid and remain silent for the time indicated by the title. The work was intended to convey the impossibility of achieving total silence, since surrounding sounds can still be heard amidst the silence of the piano performance. Yeah. Genius. Yeah. Genius. Other compositions include Sonata and Interlude in 1946 and 1948, a cycle of pieces containing a wide range of sounds, rhythmic them themes, and uh, hyponic quality. Music of Changes in 1951, written uh, for a conventional piano and employed chance compositional processes. Hmm. Cage also advocated bringing real life experiences into the concert hall. As a result of his often irrational ideas, he developed a following in the 1960s. However, he gradually returned to the more organized methods of compositions in the last 20 years music uh, of his life cage was an important force in other artistic areas specifically or especially dance and musical theater his compositions total around 229 what 229 229 no, 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 no composition. cage died in new york city on august 12 1992 which is just recent Ninety-two. I was just, yeah, I was already in college when he died, <laughs> so I'm a little bit older. <laughs> yeah, those are the, the things that you're going to discuss and doing to read. Yeah, if you have. Hmm. So here, what's new? All you have to do is to fill in the blanks with appropriate information. Copy the entire paragraph below in your music notebook or in your notebook. And fill the missing areas. My favorite 20th century composer, my favorite composer is Arnold Muniz. He was born in blah blah blah. <laughs> Some of his work include blah blah blah. And he's my favorite 20th century composer because um, Arnold Muniz is awesome. So guapito, muy chinito, simpático, el terrible musiquero. Oh yeah, that's how you do it, man. That's how you do it. So yeah. So, uh, the new musical styles created by the 20th century music classi classical composers were truly unique and innovative. Again, the new musical styles created by the 20th century classical composers were truly unique and innovative. They experimented with elements of rhythm, melody, harmony, tempo, and timbre in daring ways never attempted before. So, just Try, just try to imagine huh? it will playing without playing it just standing there and it's already a music to their ears that's how genius they were some even uh, use of electronic devices such as synthesizers tape recorders and amplifiers and the like to introduce and enhance sounds beyond those available with traditional instruments among the results of new styles were electronic music and chance music. This expanded the concept of music far beyond the conventional or the conventions of earlier periods and challenged both the new composers and the listening public. So, if you ever, if you ever, if you happen to listen to hip hop music, so it's a chance music because as i've said they incorporated the sound of the gun which is not supposed to it's not a musical instrument but it's part of the musical score and music when you hear it inside the music in the music within the music so it could be called a chance music so what's more Experimentation with the sound of the 20th century musical stream. We have task number two here. Experimentation with the sound 
of the 20th century music system. So it's electronic music. Use your available gadgets and create a simple electronic music and send out uh, via Facebook Messenger. Again, electronic music. Use your available gadgets and create a simple electronic music. Send it to your Twitter, Facebook. So let's try to. Because there are a lot of things that you can do about it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You can use your cell phone here. I tried and tried to find. I don't know if I have it here. I just don't know. Try to find. Yeah. Or try to download it from the uh, App Store or Play Store. Any musical instrument that you can find. I have here a piano. Yeah. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, I have your piano, right? So you can use this one. See you do it, man. You have to use this one to create. This is a synthesizer. You can use this one as your synthesizer. Ah, uh, what happened? Ah, uh, those are. Or you just have to find more applications that you can use for making your no, for making your your music your electronic music okay you just have to find it here you just have to go to your go to find your uh, uh play store if you're using android you use play store if you're using your apple in tennis your apple how do you pronounce it apple apple or you're into iPad or into Apple Music. This one, the Play Store and look for gadget, anything. Uh, let's say um, Beat Maker. Uh, beat Maker. So just have to. Uh, you have lots of beat makers here. Huh? How do you. You can see it. It's hard, so hard for you to see it. Because of the lights, right? Yeah. Makers. Hmm. Drum pads, groove. Say, let's try to install one, okay? Yes, I'm so sure that you will have an idea of how. What happened to me? What happened to my face? Okay, that's it. The focus went off the grid. So I downloaded the Groove Pad Music and Beat Maker. So let's try of how this uh, musical or electronic music can be abused. Not abuse, but abuse. Satoa, okay. Let's set to open. Easy Brain, it says this Easy Brain. I don't know if you can. I think you just have to accept it. And let's play. Yeah. So I just press one rhythmic pattern of the beat. And maybe you can try a synthesizer. See? Mm. Beat, then the synthesizer. Then I, I will add up some bass line. Then I will have some Vox Voice effects Yeah Then I can turn it off Or I can have more effects 
Yeah. Uh. Then I can sing with it. I can sing with it. Like, uh. The man from Manila, the color show stopper, you deep prime creator, you deep like a creator, mentally equipped to rip it up a position in the second of hard beat, making more your fit, rocking the beat. So like that, man. Then some some kiss. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I think I'm gonna like this, yeah? Then do some pad. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm here. Uh, yeah, I'm talking about chance music, electronic music, I call it to John Cage. And, yeah. I really don't know how to rap this because I'm not good at, you know, freestyling, baby. Yeah, that's how you do it, man. Then you just have to stop. You have to, then you have to pass it. Submit it. Send it to me. Send your output via Facebook Messenger or you just have to send it to at Mappy Teacher Ako. All right. Then, of course, the chance music, you put small items inside the bag. What's this? We put small items inside the bag, include coins, pens, pins, small hard, small stone, and other articles with percussive sounds. Pour the bag content on a hard surface. Nah, just, you have to see it yourself. That one. We put small items inside the bag, include coins, pens, pins, small stones, and other articles with percussive sounds. We will talk about percussive guys, we are talking about uh, in the percussion, you know, being rhythmic. Yeah, uh, sample of that you can, I can actually uh, uh, tell you about what percussive is. It's like this one. I'm holding a microphone, this is a PG48 microphone. So if we're going to make this as percussive as possible, I can, see? Yeah, that's how you. It's not awesome, but yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> that's how you do it, man. Come on. And all, what else? And put in a hard super, but put it in the bag. In the items bag in the bag, then pour it again. So you just have, have to uh place everything inside the bag then pour it out pour it in pour it out pour it in and it will create different rhythmic patterns a different sound percussive sound yeah yeah so i have the one i have the one what ha what's happening to me now? it's yeah then while doing this activity Pay a particular attention to the sound that is created. Okay. What I have learned. Answer in your notebook. In your music notebook. Or in your notebook. I have learned that. My teacher is awesome. <laughs> I have learned that. Uh, yeah. You just have. You know. To write it. Anything that you have learned. If you learn something. From this discussion. Or from your module. Alright. Uh, let's say I have learned that chance music is just a music about random thoughts and random occurrence of sound. Just like that. I also have realized that it was not. It is not easy to create music. <laughs> so then I will apply. Uh, what I've heard and learned from Mr. Arnold Munez about downloading an app, <laughs> something like that, and create a rap song out of nothing. Yeah, that's how you do it, man. That's how you do it, guys. So, what can I do? A pressing question. Write your answers in your music note. Still, you have to write it in your music notebook. Okay, let us process your answer. How did you find the chance music activity? How did you find the chance music activity? Was it fun? So, how did you find it? You answer it. How did you find chance music? Was it good? Were you pouring in and out? 
uh, things inside the bag and outside the bag? Was it fun? Did you enjoy it or just, you know, I, I didn't enjoy it. It was boring or something. Something like that. Or, it was fun because there were a lot of things that I can hear. A lot of noise, a lot of waves. I'm like, she just have to, you know, be creative in writing. What do you, what have you discovered while pouring the contents of the bag on the hard surface? Go on, try it another surface. <laughs> yeah. So, what did you discover about pouring your bag in, in a concrete surface or a different surface? So, it could be in the wood surface or in a in a grass surface or in a sand surface or in a, you know flat surface or concrete surface you just have to try different surfaces now chance music now you can now define what chance music means according to the the the, the, the activity that you've just created or you've done okay so yeah, and that's how you do it. In assessment, you just have to answer these things, answer these things, an additional activity. Uh, you said this time around your phone line to start. Oh, it's a poem. I just don't know why uh, a poem is inserted as an activity for a music. Unless the poem is going to, is, we're going to make it a, a song. Yeah, because palms are palms, but if you're going to put tune on it, in it, with it, in it, it becomes a song. But anyways, you just have to do this activity. This time we wait a, a four line to instance a poem of your understanding of electronic chance music. Do this on a short band paper. Be creative on your on your output. Criteria relevance to the topic. Fifteen per points idea coherence 10 points creativity your style 15 points total of 40 points yeah huh. so it's the bomb what you all get to do bomb a chance music is awesome so I want to try it but conversion <laughs> no I <laughs> have to try it because uh, yeah I just want a four line but another line and because my teacher is also awesome, I'm gonna do it eventually just to be as handsome as my teacher. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. So that's it. So you have your answer, she answer key here. It's Baliktad. I don't know why they did that. And it was references of that now. So. So while I was doing it, I was actually talking with nonsense. So again, if we're going, uh, if we're going to, uh, I'm going to show it to you. How uh, this one right here? Uh, uh, surface. That's what. How did you find such music? That's something like that. Kenya. I was uh, an additional. Mm -hmm. You know, and your answer key can click that and reference and all. So that's it, guys. Yeah. So you've learned the chance music you've heard, not really, if you've learned if that that would be good. How chance music is uh, created, how electronics, synthesizers, evolution of musical gadgets, uh, synthesizers, MIDI, oh, advanced like MIDI, right? And all, and the activities of pouring in and out of the bag, and of course how you find the uh, musical chance. Of course you were able to hear and straight from me, the great and uh, legendary musicians uh, in the 20th century, just like Schoenberg, uh, wow, Karl Schauskin, what was that? John Cage, yeah, <laughs> John Cage. So, ladies and gentlemen, I will not take you on this for long, and uh, see you again. Next time, so I'll talk about arts and uh, what arts we will still have physical education and how. All right, see you and keep safe. Yeah, play it hard, play it safe, but play it hard and enjoy life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, howdy. Yo, what up? Alright, yeah.
Good day, hello, my name is Arnold Dunez and I'm a Mappy teacher. Hello, my name is Arnold Dunez and uh, I'm a Mappy teacher, just like you are. <laughs> my name is Arnold Dunez and I'm a